It's summertime here in Singapore and humidity and temperatures are usually the highest during this time of the year. If you do not have an air conditioner but would like to have something to cool you down and I mean only you huh? We might have a solution for you. Today in I Try and I Share, we are testing out the Cool Focus Personal Air Conditioner by Close Comfort. Yes, the keyword here is up close and personal. For all those time you stood by me. For all the truth that you make me see John C! Okay, okay, okay. I know the young folks may not get the joke. Anyway, Close Focus is not an air conditioner that can cool down a entire room. But it's good enough to cool you down within a cooling zone. At $699, it's not a cheap solution for you to try. And that's why I'm here to try it out and share my experience with you so that you can better decide if this product suits your needs. With only 300 watts power consumption, it really saves a lot on your bills when compared to conventional air conditioners. Your home air conditioners usually have a power consumption ranging from 1000 watts to 2000 watts. And if you do the math, 300 watts versus 2000 watts, that's a lot of savings. And best of all, Cool Focus is a ready to use, no installation, just plug and play device. It's also portable system, but it's weighing at 17 kg. So it's not light light ah. It's like the weight of my luggage when I travel. So I can actually manage to carry it down and up the stairs, slowly. But with the built-in wheels and handle, you can actually easily push it or move it around in the house or office. So on a hot sunny day, just pull the extension cord and bring the cool focus to use it in the outdoors while gardening. I'm loving it. If you need a cooling solution that can save on your monthly electricity bill and it comes with no upfront installation cost, Cool Focus by Close Comfort does that all. It is a great device for single person use. For more people in the room, this might not be the ideal solution. Let's get to how Cool Focus works then you will know what I mean. There are no button controls on the unit itself. Put the back flip up and then followed by the front flip and then the cool air starts to flow. But it does come with a remote control for you to power it on and off, set the temperature to as low as 17 degrees, tune the fan speed. The unit also comes with focus enhancer, which is this flap here that narrows the vent for a stronger and more focused wind flow that can reach further. Part of the focus enhancer includes this transparent flap that I don't see much use for it, except for me to blow the wind upwards if I really need to do that. Remember when I said that you need to be in the zone in order to cool yourself down? That area is not very wide and far. With the help of the paper, I will show you the wind slash cool zones. From right to left, not in the zone. In the zone, not in the zone. Up and down, in the zone, not in the zone. And yes, the cold air only comes up from this zone and nothing from here. Huh? This is basically just the filter. I'm by the desk and I have the close comfort right here on the floor. The angle is just nice for me because uh, it's actually blowing straight onto my neck area here which is just fine because usually I don't like it to be blowing on my face because you know it'll get my lips dry and all that and uh, that means that, you know a lot more discomfort than cooling and it basically cools my upper body so I think it works just fine and if I want to have a little bit more coverage I'll just open up the focus enhancer and I uh, will get a little bit more like until uh, slightly below my knee and I've tried it on like 34 degrees and it's actually managed to cool me down pretty much quite immediately but the issue is this side is cool okay 
This side is hot zone. This side is hot zone. This side is cool. So you need to know where is the cool zone. And uh, for beginners, you would basically probably be adjusting a bit in order to get the comfort zone that you like. If you like to slouch, right? I tell you, if you put it this way, and then when you, the moment you want to slouch a bit only, uh, you feel the hot zone, then after that you will like, oh, straighten up, and then start working again. <laughs> Quite cool. And the reason why I say this is a selfish device is because, you see, now I'm cool, right, in this section of the house. But if I were to walk to any part of this room, like here, it will be warm because the exhaust is actually here and the rest of the room will actually be uh, having a lot of like the hot air circulating and I would suggest to actually open the window because this is not a room air conditioner it's a personal air conditioner so having opened the windows and all that it doesn't uh, really affect the temperature and the energy consumption it's better to keep the windows and the doors open so that you know there's more circulation so that the room don't feel so stuffy the ideal way of actually using this cool focus is actually put it by the window so that the air could actually perch out of the window or in between the door before it closed so that you know the air could also perch out of the room as well but for my situation here it doesn't uh, allows me to do that because where i work and the place that i will be sitting down is always away from the window and away from the door cooling distance for this thing is actually pretty short so if i were to put at those places it would never reach me so it really depending on your room configuration probably it will work for you for temperature wise it is very cooling like direct from an air conditioner when i set the temperature at 17 degrees and at a high fan speed for the fan it's not like super cold but I would say it's about 20 degrees plus minus in my experience which is just nice and I don't think you should have anything that's colder than that which actually blows directly at you so it's slipping on the bed there is two ways that you can actually put this thing here so if you're alone I suggest this is the best way because with the angle like this right it's actually covers pretty much most of your upper body so if you have two persons sleeping on the same bed, I would suggest that you not use this because the person on the other side would actually feel a little bit stuffy. They will get some cool air, but not as much as you. So one person will be very cold and the other one will be like a bit warm. So that's not really the optimum way of using this for two person on the bed. And cross promo, this is the iPad stand that I have that I got from Taobao and it's pretty good right you know watching your show like that hands free so for two packs i would recommend to put it at the rear of the bed frame right smack right in the middle between the two person so make sure the focus enhancer is closed so that the airstream will actually travel further and stronger so that you know both party will actually enjoy a bit more of the cool air and remember to set it to high so another trick here is to use the blanket mm -hmm. and like this I'll actually put the blanket in here like that Okay, a bit over that And now, I'll actually have some cool air running under the blanket I feel that this one is actually mimicking the Iglo 10 that Cool Focus actually has That you can actually purchase separately as an optional thing to live in the tent But I always think that that one is a bit hideous lah, huh? To be using that because Your bedroom is so nice already, you like Your bedroom so much, then after that you want to sleep in the Iglo 10 a bit weird lah but if you need it i still recommend lah if you are okay with that so if your bedroom setup is like this and if you put in the middle here you know in the middle of the night someone want to cross here might bump into this or might have difficulty going across this may not be ideal for everybody next i tested it out at the six seater dining table just to see if there's a possibility for me to use the cool focus for a small gathering so when i put the cool focus in the middle of the dining table I actually need to lean inwards to reach the cooling zone and if I lean backwards I'll get into the hot zone but the cool air did manage to get to the end of the dining table that's actually quite remarkable although it's not that strong but good enough I think the ideal position for this will actually be putting it diagonally 
so that at least some of the guests at the table will have like more cool wins, but not everyone. It's better than nothing lah, huh? I feel that it works better when you use it for mahjong, where the table is actually smaller and everyone is so much closer to each other, so when you put it diagonally, everybody will actually get more of the cool air. Well, just a suggestion here, it would have been perfect if the cool focus can actually oscillate then the problem can be solved. Maybe they can actually come up with a add-on like rotating base plate to do that. What do you think? As for the noise level generated by the unit, even at the highest fan speed, it is still acceptable in my opinion. It's not quiet quiet, But it's not super loud that you can't hear what people are talking during a Zoom call or even get distracted by it. After a while, it just becomes silent in a way lah, when you get used to it. This filter, you need to wash it like every uh, two weeks so that to maintain the cleanliness and the quality of the cool air. And then from the back here, there is another filter. There is another filter here as well. Cool Focus is not built for every household. It is a niche device that does what it is advertised. It's a great solution if you are looking for a hassle-free personal air conditioner. And I hope that you like my review for Cool Focus by Close Comfort. Do help us by sharing and liking this video so that we can produce more contents like this for you in the future. If you have any question for us, please leave it down in the comment section below. And see you again in our next episode of I Try and I Share. Bye!